Hey, you guys, the story has never been told before, but I feel like since it's been two years, maybe he got over it. Anyway, and they broke up. G Herbo. I met him what, two years ago. And he, I was on my, I couldn't fuck female problems, but I still want to go to the show. You don't fuck on your period? No. Oh. Unless it's, cheap kids don't give a fuck. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he calls me Bloody Mary. Bye-bye. Anyway, um, so, anyway, I have a Cardi Powell, a Selena Powell. Um, anyway, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. G Herbo. So anyway, he was like, yo, like I don't go fuck you and appear like so. Caution. I repeat, caution. For the next ten minutes, you will be taken inside the mind of today's rappers. This is the stupid rapper show. Hosted by Ayo Canseco. Welcome back to the Stupid Rapper Show. I am Ayo Canseco and this is Chloe. Say hey, Chloe. Or actually, Ariana named her Chloe and my mother named her Karma because she has a caramel color and Karma's a bitch and she's a girl. But, um... Yes, um, this is the Stupid Rapper Show. I'm the fearless leader of AL Nation and the Men 2 movie. Get in the description box. Make sure you sign the change.org petition and make sure you donate to the GoFundMe on um, GoFundMe, the Men 2 movement. This is the Stupid Rapper Show. I, I'm kind of, I want to get to this shit. This is that whole name, Selena Powell, and she's on Detective Adam show, Special Agent, Agent Adam on No Jumper. And um, but just like just like Vlad, I don't, I don't think he's really a detective, but he could fucking be though. I don't think he's a detective. I don't think he's the police, but I think he's a fucking racist. I do think that he has like that snarky sarcasm, like to where like you never know exactly who he is and shit like that. Like, you don't trust motherfucker like that. But um, listen to this shit. But he also has very good information. He brings a lot of good shit. Uh, to the forefront that we can't get and it's so fucked up we don't get this from black interviewers like for whatever reason maybe just because niggas don't feel comfortable answering these questions from a nigga whatever like that but when a you know Charlemagne and shit like that you know that they'll go into it and shit but these motherfuckers interview the under like the people on the underbelly and I just have to respect it situation where more or less you like uh, lied and just trolled the media and Cardi B for a long period of time. <laughs> Did you ever just fuck off? Yo, that? so guess what? Guess what? This crazy shit happened to me in Miami. A lot of crazy shit happened in Miami, like life changing shit. But we'll get to that when it reaches. She sucked that. in Miami. Who? Anyway, no, no. Anyway, the pregnancy shit, like, um, yeah, like I, I faked the pregnancy and stuff. And honestly, AK called. No, I called AK and I was like, AK, I'm pregnant. This is before we fucked her. Anything. You call him AK instead of Ag. I know. That's I was weird. like, AK, I'm pregnant. And he was like, bitch, like, don't lie to me. He was like, you can lie to like anyone else. Just don't lie to me. I was like, all right. Well, I was like, I want to tell like the world I'm pregnant. He was like, all right, do it. Like he was like, let me know when you do it, and I'll post it. And I was like, all right. But he knew that you were lying. Yeah, he knows all my. He knows everything. Like, like he knows me, me like better than anyone. Like, well, that's a pretty knows. serious accusation, though. The idea that he would be like lying to his fans and intentionally yeah. trolling. What's up with the academics? What's up with that? Like, you understand what that is. Like, the people who watch your channel. But I guess what what you can say is that you're reporting the news, but you knew this shit was a lie, and you reported it as if you didn't know it was a lie. So, like, it could be. It could be or it couldn't be. I'm not sure, but you were sure. You did know that that shit was fake. You know what I'm saying? And just for a story. So, I mean... How fucking trustworthy are you at that point? That's crazy. This fans about something that's somewhat serious. I feel like he might take yeah. issue with that. No, no, no. I've seen him as had words. Really? I've seen the DMs. Because Offset thought that he was complicit in spreading this idea? Yeah. Really? And he was. I mean, I feel like Ak, whenever he talked about it, that was like pretty skeptical about the idea that it was real publicly. No, it came really the, the... And that's all. I mean, on that level, 
But you know, I, even though you hold, you know what's crazy though? Joe Budden showed his dislike or perceived dislike for the Migos and shit like that. But academics, on the other hand, made it seem like he was a fan. He was a um oh, such uh, emphatic about you know what I'm saying how. Oh, these, these are new guys. I fucking oh my god! I, I'm, I'm just I admire them so much. But then here you are, you have a chance to douse the media fire that's coming for Offset and his marriage and his fucking marriage. And instead, you thrust. This bitch thrust, what a fucking... Let me take Chloe outside. You thrust this motherfucker into stardom. You have a chance to help out a fellow black man. And what you do instead is thrust a fucking Mexican into stardom. As I always say, Academics was the first big fucking blogger to give me a shout out publicly and shit. But, you know, a motherfucker can do real shit and fake shit. A real person doesn't always, like a gangster, a, a street nigga can kill niggas and get fucked in the ass. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker ain't just one way. So, remember that shit too. But he knew. Uh, but why did you want to do this? Why would you want to mess with Cardi and Offset? They seem like perfectly nice no, no, people, no, okay, right? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So I, as I was writing like the pregnancy post, I was like, who was I with four months ago? So I was like, kind of like four months ago. And I was like, okay, like it's him or it could be NBA Youngboy because I went public with both of them. I never fucked NBA Youngboy. I don't have herpes, y'all. But I was with, I was hanging around no him so people would believe it. No. So everyone you were hanging him. out with young boy, but you never let him smash. Nah, he Why didn't not? want. He, I thought he was. No, he was seventeen. He wanted to smash. He was like, so, he was like, so if you don't let me fuck, he was like, go get me bitches, and I got him two bitches, and then I had to take him to Walmart and get Plan B's for those bitches. He nutted them. To a Walmart to get Plan B. He went with yes, him. yes, he went in my car. We drove to go to get Plan B for these two bitches. Where did you find bitches? In the crowd. Oh, you're out of the show. I went to yeah, I went to the yeah, I went to the crowd and I was like, you guys trying to trying to fuck with NBA? They were like, yeah. I was like, you were, you guys are down. And like, yeah. I was like, all right, come to the bus. And we went to the bus. And then he just and then, yeah, up. and then he fucked. What that sound like? What does that sound like? The beginning of not from her side. But that sounds like the beginning of a detailed story from one of the R. Kelly. And I'm not saying that. And I'm not. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying. Y'all decide what the fuck I'm saying. I'm not. I ain't doing it. And Janina, Janina was in the bus and he went upstairs to the hotel room. He had three hotels. Three hotel rooms. And he like put one girl in one, one girl in one, and then him in the one. Mm -hmm. And then Janina was in the bus. Wow. It was funny. Anyway, that's the pretty game. So, I don't, honestly, that doesn't really like, surprise me. That's a pretty standard at this point for a and, rapper. You know, you just run that. And then he gave him plan B. I would. I want y'all to watch something. Never take a plan B. Fuck. Why not? I want y'all. She has a lighter in her hand. Um, as we're as we're moving along in life, I want y'all to learn shit. I want y'all to um be cognizant of what's going on around you. If someone's talking to you. And they have um, some type of twitch. You know what I'm saying? They, that what it is a call sign. It's like it's, it's a tail. Like when you play poker, people have tails. The fact that she keeps on fucking with this lighter, it should let you know something. She's doing something she don't have no fucking business. And also it let you know that she's a fucking child. She has to fidget with something. As you know, kids always be talking to you and breaking a stick or some shit like that 
This is a fucking child. You want that kid? I want, no, I'm on board. I'm not gonna tell you my kid. Any dude who nuts on you is a psychopath. <laughs> I'm wearing six. If I were to fuck you, would I not? I would wear six rubbers. Why six? I don't know. It just feels like I would just really, really want to make sure that you didn't get what I got. Wait, what do you mean what you got? I don't want you, my, my fucking, my family. I'd be like, man, you have my kid. I'd be so upset. <laughs> Because, like, I was, why do you no, live okay. your life this way? This is one, like, okay, the main okay, thing I'm trying okay. to get out of this. Okay, is like, why do you okay. think it's so tight to just fuck all these rappers okay, and shit? Okay, I'm getting to that. Okay. Okay, so, um, I'm on birth control, so... <laughs> <laughs> if I ever, if I ever get another day, like, I just... Honestly, the abortion check is really good, so... The abortion? check the abortion check what is that it's like 500 bucks <laughs> no it's 500 to get an abortion is like 500 bucks to, right yeah but then the hush money is another couple grams fuck out of here i would never if uh, someone offered me 400 dollars for abortion i'd be like nope see you in nine months but now it's like you google me and it's like something about friends but it's like so you, you see every dude that you it. fuck is just this opportunity huh to just like anything that happens is just an extortion opportunity it's not really extortion if they offer it if you were like more dog do you know that's the same thing shout out to katrina gill you know i got shout out on every fucking video <laughs> shout out to katrina gill make sure you subscribe to the conversation with me podcast but on uh she covered one of the hoes that um, was claiming that R. Kelly had sex with her back in the day. I don't know what the whole name is. But that hoe said, I didn't ask him for no money because she had the tape that they was fucking and shit like that. She had the tape of them fucking and shit. I guess she was underage. She said, I didn't ask him for no money. He offered You have the tape of me fucking. But that's the same thing this whole just said. It's not extortion if they offer. So what it is, is like. Chill about it, like, and you, when you tried to holler at me, I probably would have been down. But instead, you just like seem like this insane exposer. Like, this is just what you live for. First just of to all, rattle all, these all dudes I said out. was you're actually pretty cute. That's all I said. And then Lena like went crazy. And right. I asked if she was a porn star, and she went crazier. Right. That's she didn't go crazy. She just doesn't like you because she thinks you're disrespectful. But why? You guys have threesomes all the time. Why didn't she invite me for a threesome? Because like the girls that we hook up with are actually like cool and like respect her and are nice and stuff and then you're just even like know her right but i mean i didn't even know you had a girlfriend until until i said you were cute and then everyone was like lena's gonna fuck you up i was like who the fuck is lena and then lena was like me bitch <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm gonna be honest i don't think she could fuck you up i think you're taller than her i think you probably there's a good chance that you would fuck her up, but not, we're not going to allow that no, to happen. No, I don't fight. It's really, I honestly think it's kind of fucked up maybe interviewing you because it's like kind of going against her. But I like her. Right. I mean, she maybe we could, like me. we could work that out, I guess, you know? She maybe almost was like, going to do this podcast with me. Yeah, I know. You told me that. You like, I'm not interviewing you, and I said, yes. I don't, because I don't know what the fuck this white folk shit they talking about. I don't know what the fuck that is. Shit. Okay, like fuck, sorry. <laughs> you were just turned on by him or what? Yeah. I'm so sorry. you you fucked him? You didn't wrap it up? Yeah. No. Let's see what he talking about. Cause this whole she did, she did, she spent. Yeah. Like, Actually, I put him in front of big gate. <laughs> you what? Noble with your life, like you're not but a total you idiot. You I'm are doing. kind of funny. Yeah, you, Thanks, you, but I do think that you could be doing something in your life. Like you could be but a why YouTuber. Do you think I'm I am a YouTuber. I have twenty three thousand subscribers. Yeah, that's in, cool. In three weeks. Okay, but I mean, whenever you hit so, me up, it's like to tell me something about black youngster, or to like be like, <laughs> oh, fat boy fucked me. <laughs> no, I didn't. 
accident. Yeah, you did, I never right? said that. You didn't fuck that boy? No, I never hit you up and said that. <laughs> but you did let Matt hit, right? No, no? I never hit you up no. and said that. I, no. I, I thought that that was one. But that I mean, boy it, just likes to talk shit to me in life for some reason. I don't really know what's wrong with you. You never said 6 9 either? No, no, I fucked the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? What was the scenario? Actually, I fucked him in front of AK. <laughs> you what? I fucked him in front of AK. Wait, so is, is this like an academics cuck thing where he like gets well, off like on watching that? Not in, like literally in front. Like, uh, since I was going through my phone, and he saw a video of me sucking dick, and he was like, "Yo, I need this." He was like, a "AK, get out, get out." And, and, and what accent? AK looked at me. He was like, "I was like." Because me and AK, me and AK, I literally swallowed AK's nut on the way to Six Nine's house. But were you like dating back? No. But you were just you were I, you were I, still this full is my house first, status. This was the second day I met AK. Because when I flew out, AK picked me up and I stayed with him at his house. And then we went to Six Nine's house to do the stunt. And it was only supposed to be the stunt. And I already was. I already. I don't know why I felt Six Nine. Like, I really don't. But didn't you like academics? Like what, what's to stop you from just saying like, him. no, I'm not gonna give you head, Daniel. <laughs> no, I liked academics, but I didn't know anything like if this was gonna go anywhere, you know, like I liked him But like and you didn't want to miss out on the opportunity I to swallow like, six nines no, in that. I, I didn't want to miss out on the opportunity of like, you know, with, with six nines So I was like, all right, whatever, fuck it But why is that I'll such an it. opportunity that you can't turn down there to just get I don't know, it's just in the heat of the moment, okay? Like, fuck, sorry <laughs> You were just turned down by him or what? Yeah, So sorry. you you fucked him? You didn't wrap it up? Yeah, no, no, no AK made him have a rubber Fucking cop! I do. What the fuck? I could have been like his 80th baby mom. This is so, so, this is so deranged. So <laughs> You're weird. telling me that Agadotic said no. You gotta put a rubber on <laughs> no, two, no, no, six no. times. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll talk later. We'll, we'll, let's just watch your shit, dog. Or to I don't you. know. I don't know if that's the thing, but AK. I mean, six <laughs> nine like walked out the room. And he came back in, like to walk AK downstairs, and he came back in, and he had a rubber in his hand. I was like, I was like, wow, like you're gonna use a condom. He was like, he told me to. I'm like. <laughs> Like, this is some shit niggas do. This is some shit niggas do. Nigga will not want, like, so this is the, this is the dynamic. Academics got an old lady. And just put yourself, if you've been in this situation, you can understand it. Academics got an old lady, but he got a, uh, a known prostitute on his side. Now, a real nigga, I'm finna pimp the fuck out this hoe. Like, this is the easiest pimping that you'll ever do. The bitch didn't know what I'm saying? This is a groupie bitch. Like, this uh, the easiest pimping ever. I done fucked this hoe a day before. Now we finna go get with my homeboy. And we, we pretty much tight. Me and 6 9 We finna go fuck my homeboy 6 9 I'm getting head on the way to the goddamn video shoot and shit like that. All good. So this whole note, she know everything to do. She this whole with it. We get to the house. Now you catch feelings for the hoe? Like dog, you pose a throw like dog. You got when I brought the bitch home out, all my young niggas rock out. Rock the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? I told the whole we stopped, right? We were coming from Florida. We stopped on the like at the last gas station before we got to Daphne, and I told that whole, hey, put uh, put that shit on that you had on when I first seen you. Put that shit on that you had on when I first fucking seen you. Cause I wanna come in the house and, and just just walk in this hole with this hole, and goddamn nigga like, what the fuck? Nigga gonna be looking around and shit like that. Then I'm gonna say, yes y'all, go rock out. No, you that nigga, don't you pose to do like these yo, but. That's not what he was on. <laughs> That's not what he was on. He on some shit like you that I'm that nigga, and it's some nigga, some lame ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he come with a hoe, not knowing like dog. You ain't supposed to bring no groupie bitch around me. You know that. You know what I'm saying I'm way. If the whole fuck, if she a groupie and she fuck with you, you know she gonna fall for me. 
That's why niggas who are cognizant of that type of shit will leave, make, they won't even let you meet they bitch. Because they know that that hoe is a fucking flipper and she gonna go, but they want, they trying to have a heart with this bitch. And you already got an old lady. And you a lame ass nigga. She just, you a lame ass nigga. Academics. You a lame ass nigga, dog. You don't do no shit like that, dog. This is a known fucking flipper, and the reason why you you lame because you disguised it. This is what niggas do. They so the lame ass nigga. The whole see me. I'm, I'm just going straight. I see this whole nothing ass bitch. I can tell you, man. Look, let me see your phone. This for no reason. Let me see your phone. She gonna give me the phone. Go through this shit. Oh, this whole she can go. Oh shit. <coughs> I need that. Let's do it. Hey, get out right fast. Appreciate it, bro, home. And you gonna get this whole a, a nasty look like y'all homeboy, homegirl. I know you ain't finna do that. What the fuck? But I ain't on that shit, man. Go ahead and ride. So whatever nigga finna dip and not me and him just walking down. I told that whole shit down. We finna get this on. I'm walking this nigga out. Hey, man, you, you might not wanna fuck with her, man. Team. You gonna need about three of these motherfuckers. That whole, that whole got it. That who got AIDS. Get the fuck out of here. Give you a condom. Because you don't want me to stain your bitch. Nigga, you ain't giving that condom because you'll worry about me. You gave me that condom because you you, you ain't want... You, you knew the fuck I was going to fuck your bitch raw. And nothing in this whole mouth like you did nothing in that whole mouth. But you ain't want... You know what I'm saying? That lame as fuck, dog. But that's how niggas do. But then I can never start dating you after this? Me and AK like never were like dating dating. Like he didn't call me his girlfriend. But you were in love with him? Yeah. Wow. Weird, right? Did he ever get mad at you about the fact that you fucked six nine was in the other room? Dude, he was pissed yeah. for so long. He left me in a hotel room by myself, took my ID, took my phone, and just left me. For how long? <laughs> for a day. And then we came back and we fucked and we made up. Wow. And then he took me to the mall. I just also want to say to academics that I didn't know that she was gonna be just like saying all this shit, like Dog, you a sucker, dog. I, dog, I did this. This is supposed to be a video, me showing niggas. I haven't seen this shit yet. I'm supposed to be showing niggas about you know NBA young boy, black youngster, and how niggas ain't got no fucking mind. But dog, you really are a lame ass nigga. You bought this whole song. You took this whole phone. You was mad at this hoe for being a hoe? But, shout out to Trina Gibbs. You can take the lame ass nigga out the lame position, but you can't take the lame ass nigga out, you can't take the lame out the lame ass nigga. You can take a nerd. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. No, I could yeah. not have expected that you would Where am I looking at? Where's the camera? I mean, you could just look at me or you could look right at the camera but right like, there. I want to interact with my audience. Oh, you want to see what the fans got to say? I'll let you check the chat out for a minute. Yeah. Let's pop this out and see what they got to say. Because when you first hit me up trying to get oh with X, I basically just I'm called you a fucking thought right away. I was like, hell no, nah, I ain't fucking lining you up with my boy. Why? Because, listen. You told me, no, you replied and you were like, cool. RIP X, and but no. I dead ass thought that no jumper in attitude. I would love to actually people. show. The fuck? Huh? Yeah, I asked somebody else, I told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is my car okay parked out there? I parked it. They just running it. I gotta respect them. And academics, she will never fuck up my bag again. What, he fucked up something for you? I got signed to Love and Hip Hop and he fucked it up. How did he do that? What do you mean he fucked it up? Because I called him and I was like literally crying in tears. I was like, hey, can you give me shots of me? This is finally happening. He's like, make sure you get paid. And he, they gave me a month to negotiate the price. And then I negotiated the price. I got my story laying down. Everything was good. Then like I was just so happy like, I went to fly to CAK and I flew to CAK and we got an argument and obviously he went on his stupid ass twitch and was like Fuck Selena Bell 
she's gonna be on Love and Hip Hop. This is her storyline. Oh wow! Yo, so yo. then you. <laughs> Damn, what? Well, you a hope for real. The producer of called me and they're like, "We're sorry, we can't continue this. They're like, we wish you the best of luck. Oh um, my God. Clearly, you're still stuck on academics. You told us you haven't talked to him in nine months. <sighs> we found out that's a lie. Um, we, that's a lie. Yeah, it's like we just wish you the best, but unfortunately, this opportunity isn't for you. Wow. But I have a new opportunity. And There's got to be somebody who's down to get in the business of just being as messy as you're capable of being, right? Honestly, it's really fucking hard. I thought I thought me being like so convert. What's that word? Convert Controversial. Yeah, that I would like always. Welcome to fifth grade. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm, I'm, y'all, y'all are starting. To, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with y'all. We, we, we together on this. Look. I don't like that shit. I don't like when people do what he just did. Like, hey, who opened the fifth grade? <laughs> Fuck's wrong with her. She's dumb as fuck. First of fucking all, controversial is not no fucking fifth grade fucking word. And it's very fucking easy to forget a word. But you see what happens when you have a dumb title over your head? Like, that, that's just your stick? Like, it can be, it'll be a rapper, a dumbass fucking rapper. Who will ask, uh, what's that word? You mean red? Oh, yeah, it, yeah, oh, yeah. And won't say shit. Won't say a fucking thing. Because that's not this. And I, I just, but I'm, I'm saying for me, if if we're ever to meet in real life, me and you, I hate that shit. I truly hate when people do that smart shit. <laughs> and laugh and shit. Dog. That ain't what it is. Hate that shit, dog. <laughs> now, I would always be like, you know, I would won't, like be okay to get on shows, but honestly, it's really fucking hard. Did you actually smash Offset? Yeah. Okay, so the baby was alive, but you did. She lying. Did take him down at one point. Okay, and then when I was in Miami, she was there. Huh? We were with Offset, the Migos, and Offset hit her too. Yeah, no, we had a very bad. No, no, no! Don't saying? say that! Don't say that! Don't say that! You said we had a very bad but, experience. But, the, but after our bad experience, we made up with Offset. After what? Our bad experience, we made up with Offset. Okay, you made up with him. Yeah. Isn't it kind? Of, it's kind of amazing that you weren't the one to call him out and get his whole relationship fucked up. I mean, you tried. You were like the early one trying to fuck his relationship. But Cardi, up. you know Cardi, like she messaged me and shit. You know that, right? You know I had the. Uh, she CEO said. or whatever of Atlantic Records calling me, telling me I need to delete that shit. I had lawyers reach out to me telling me I need to chill out. I've had not because Mel Money, Mel Money, because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> anyway, Mel Money, Mel Money isn't even his manager. It's some old white guy that's like really the manager. Anyway, no, no, no. Pay attention now. Pay attention. Pay attention. Who is really the fucking industry plant? Who's really been planted here? And see, if you run on that type of theory, then that'll make you believe that you're on the wrong track. When you're saying Vlad and this white boy, the fucking police, really, academics and this hoe is the fucking police. If you're running on the theory I'm running on, this hoe has been, this hoe has all these niggas in the palm of her fucking hand. At this very fucking moment, every nigga that she named, she can fucking say, oh yeah, oh yeah. I told him to stop and he didn't. I was sexually fucking abused. A motherfucker to talk all the fuck they want to talk. But she'll have a fucking case. And on top of that, God damn. This whole got a lot of goddamn information, don't it? How long has she been around you motherfuckers? How long has she been around you motherfuckers? 
to where you'll just divulge all this motherfucking information. See, from outside the trap house, as a, as a jack boy, I'm trying to find interests. I, I don't really know what's going on. I can only speculate on what's going on and shit like that. God damn, so I'm going to have to come through the... They might have a chop right there. I know they got a chop by the door. I'm going to have to come through that back window. And they probably already damn. But you send a hoe in that damn house, man, they ain't got, a, they ain't got nothing. They ain't got no fire in that bitch. Man, them niggas in that hoe so sloppy, just... just Nigga, nigga ain't, there ain't no cameras on this motherfucker. That's a fake camera. That's a fake camera. Man, shit, man. What, you can run that whole broad day when shit happen. Them niggas pussy. And be right. And you niggas still fuck around playing. Oh, shit. Hey, dog. How this whole know this shit, dog? How this whole know this shit, dog? Come on, dawg, this is nothing ass group of bitch. How the fuck this hole all in your pockets knowing where the fuck this shit coming from, dawg? Oh, on some real shit. I didn't I didn't tell everybody I was faking the pregnancy because I didn't want to ruin academics' his credibility. Okay. I didn't want to do that to him. I didn't want because he was like going so hard for me, like he was like he, you know, on his Twitch, on his YouTube, like, on his, on his main page, like, he was really going hard for me, you know, saying, like, it's real, it's real, it's real. I was like, okay, I'm about to just, like, couldn't I want to like, know what he's got to say about that, because I feel like, him? I mean, you can do whatever you want. What? Yeah, you can try her stuff. It literally okay. tastes like shit, but. <laughs> <laughs> she just, like, inter interrupts the podcast to be like, let me hit that drink. What, what phone do I have? I don't think he'll answer my phone call because he doesn't. I think I'm blocked actually. Probably, yeah, I would assume. He, so, NBA young boy, that one, that one didn't work out. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. What about Chief Keith? Uh, oh, I've been fucking Chief no, Keith. <laughs> What'd you say? She, you don't have a mic. We're gonna, Just for the right. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go to what um, Chief Keith's nice movie here. Uh, really? He, had, he lives in Tropicanda. <laughs> no. Dog, I'm dropping this shit tonight. I gotta drop this shit tonight. I gotta drop this shit tonight, dog. Dog, y'all niggas ain't got no hoes. Y'all niggas ain't got no hoes. No, I'm. This whole, this whole just told everybody in the whole world where the fuck you stay. Man. Oh, I'm but it's not. Yes. Um, I'm sorry. Um, that's a whole case. Oh my God. You guys are yeah. the fucking worst. Why did I do this live? <laughs> oh my God. Hey guys, God. follow me, Selena Power XO. Call AK. <sighs> Oh Why is everyone God. commenting out, bitch? You're a fucking yeah. Ellie, dumb bitch. Am I allowed to cuss on here or are you bleeping it out? It's fucking YouTube. Of course you can cuss. Are we live on YouTube? Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. With the power of YouTube. Wait, how many people are tuned in? I'm starting to feel more what? and more. You never did. Besides the 6 9 story, which I'm still kind of blown away by. And I feel like everybody's going to be talking about that tomorrow or now. Yo, the daddiest thing I've ever done... Claudia, can you help me out with study thing I've ever done? Yeah. Claudia, done some volunteer some shit, shit some, some raunchy shit, some stuff that like she should have. Dude, like I honestly, no. And that AK, you wish I got trained, bitch. He said you never I got a train around you. No, I told him I got a train around on me by by Solo Lucci because I wasn't supposed to go to LA. He, he told me not to go, and I went. By who? Solo Lucci. No, I told him I, I got, got a train around on me. But I'm loving hip hop. Oh, I don't watch that shit. Would you watch me if I was everyone? Honestly, that would kind of make me want to watch it, yeah. You hear that, Mr. Scott? <laughs> <laughs> Adam 22 said he'll watch it. But so. then again, okay, let's be real. Like, I watch a lot of Joe Budden podcasts, and I don't oh, watch... Oh, fuck Joe, Joe Budden. I don't watch Joe Budden Joe, on Love and Hip Hop, so why would I watch Joe, you? Joe, I'm so mad. Joe refuses to let me fuck. He refuses. <laughs> <laughs> He's married. So? <laughs> the hell? But you were trying before he was married? Huh? You were trying before he was married? 
I was trying before, during, and after. Right, but he never gave his time of death? No, he did. He told me no. Well, I mean, that's, that was polite of him, I guess. He told me no. Y'all, if you find this whole attractive, you're a fucking pedophile. You're a fucking pedophile! This is a child! The hoe ain't, this, this ain't no, no built up, stacked up hoe. Hoe ain't got no titty, no ass. This, this is a fucking child. In it, modern day 12, 13 year old talk just like that. You said never, I said You know, it's, it's I was, not sin. But, I don't know. I, I, I was going to say, I'd be extremely surprised if this whole puss ain't stank, but... Maybe this is what she do. Maybe that's all she care about. You know what I'm saying? Like, because she seems to be draped up. She got the fucking veneers in and shit. I got his number, but he changed. <laughs> Probably because you got it. <laughs> no, he and didn't. He no, I got, I got his number, and then he blocked. Like, he, I got his number, and he was changed. Well, he might not have known what you were up to. It was, no, he, I never had his number. Joe Biden, I got his old Joe Biden cannot let you smash. It would really, really be uh, perilous for the Everyday Struggle brand. What about Wayno? You ever think about getting Wayno some top? <laughs> Come on, I, I've already fucked academics, like, so. So what? I, I think... <laughs> Get his co host in there. <laughs> There's a lot of opportunities out there, you know? No. I'm, I'm good on Wayne, though. Really? Damn, that sucks. Probably not. He's gonna be pissed. Maybe some other rappers I should get with. Um, I don't know. I see. Thank it. you for hooking me up with Lil Zaren. That was so nice of you. I mean, he'll be nice to you. He'll take care of you until he probably hears about you from academics or something. Oh, I could do this with. He probably what about Lil Pump? I already tried Lil Pump. He wouldn't let you smash? I could do this with him. He did, but I... Damn, boy, you a hoe. <laughs> so he reached out do to, it. He reached out to him. He reached out to him and he was like, um, do you know he's still in college? Right. But I feel like he would still do it. A lot of these rappers, I mean... If y'all want to see this shit, go to the channel. the show and some shit happened like a girl didn't like me or whatever and she was she was with his friend and she like tried to like run down on me and stuff and like he was like just go to the hotel like i don't have time for your drama shit and i was like all right so i went to the hotel oh shit hold on and this one, this one, this it one. was i want y'all to hear like i think this, this is a clip somebody sent me g herbo and me and my friend i was with my friend and i was like yo like his passport was there all of it. Hey, what the fuck, man? That's why I gotta get my goddamn Xbox fucking um tuned up, man. I'm a nerd. I'm probably if I die, it's because of you. So anyway, guys, long like story feel good short. About that. What? I guess I can feel good about that. Keep going. What? You want me to die? I'm okay, dying. you guys. The story has never been told before, but I feel like since it's been two years, maybe he got over it. Anyway, and they broke up. G Herbo, I met him like two years ago, and he, I was on my, I couldn't fuck female problems, but I still want to go to show. You don't fuck on your period? No. Oh. Unless it's, it's cheap kid don't give a fuck. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he calls me bloody man. Anyway, um, so, anyway, I have a Cardi Powell, a Selena Powell. Um, anyway, sorry, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. G Herbo. So anyway, he was like, yo, like, I don't go fuck you. You're going like, suck my dick. And I was like, okay. And so I sucked his dick. And his dick is super fucking big. So I was like, oh my God, like, I can't do it. Like, sorry. G Herbo got a thing on him. Yeah, he got a big dick. So I was like, <laughs> oh my God. I was like, oh my God, like, I can't. Like, like I'm sorry. Like, I can't. And like, you know, I, I had like a wig. Like, this is like my first time wearing a wig too. So I was like, oh my God. And like, he was like pulling on my shit, like, <laughs> slamming it down my throat. He was like spitting on my face. He was like choking me out. Oh, like, man. He, he was That's doing some, it too. He was doing some crazy shit. And I wanted to fuck so bad. You were loving it. Bro, I was so happy. I wanted to fuck so bad. I was like so close from like just saying like fuck it, let's fuck. But, but but you were just giving head. I was just giving head, and he was doing all that nasty shit. Why didn't you just so, want to smash? I don't Bust know. it open for G herbs. I, I didn't. I didn't want to bleed on him. Oh, you were in a period, right? That was nasty. Huh? Well, you don't do the butt like, 
No. Why not? Actually, like, it's up to the guy, really, whatever he wants to do, so... But you do do it sometimes, you just act like you're totally against it. We'll we'll talk about my sex life in a different, because I'm a freak, okay? Oh, crap. Anyway, (laughs) so... (laughs) Yeah, you're going to be happy. Anyway, just kidding, Lena, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not not so much. I'm just kidding, Lena. I love you so much, baby. If Lena permitted it, sure, maybe, but I don't think... Oh, her name is Lena? Lena, yeah. Oh. I just, I'm so used to just letting people say it the other way. Oh yeah, I, I put this on to be cool and shit. I've been doing that a lot on my Instagram. Um, I might use that for my thumbnail and shit. I, I can't. Now I think about it. Um, but yeah, back to what we're doing here. Um, do you hear this shit? No, she's Armenian. Anyway, so G Herbo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe the uh, well? Finish your G. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, so we got done doing that, and then I went to the show, and some shit happened. Like a girl didn't like me or whatever, and she was she was with his friend, and she like tried to like run down on me and stuff, and like he was like, just go to the hotel. Like I don't want to talk to you and drama shit. And I was like, all right. So I went to the hotel, and it was his room, and me, and my friend. I was with my friend, and I was like, yo, like his passport was there. All of his money was there, all his clothes was there. I was like, you know what? No, oh, why the fuck is you niggas trusting this hoe like this, man? What is it about this bitch that you just trust this hoe like this? Fuck it. You trust the hoe because she look white? Because she, uh, she ain't no black bitch, so... No, you ain't po- that what I'm saying with these lame ass niggas. You think I'm just talking about black girls? Like, no, my nigga. Nothing ass bitch is a consciousness. It's a way of fucking life. It can infect any, any female and even unto niggas. Nothing ass, nothing ass. That's so it can apply to niggas or bitches of any fucking race. Nothing ass nigga. Smoke weed, play the game all day. Live off a of hoe. Don't want shit. Don't want a fucking thing. Nothing. Nothing ass bitch. Don't want shit out of life. And she shows it. The only difference is a nothing ass nigga, he's going to be broke and living off a motherfucker. A nothing ass bitch will be compensated by the fucking government. So it may be harder to tell, but just as soon as she opens her mouth, you'll be able to see what the fuck is going on. It's not... And a bitch can even have her own fucking salon. Nothing like you. You don't want something just uh, like hoe. And and I'm telling you, a lot of these hoes like sell hair, um, do hair, um, but bitch don't have nothing in her mind. It, you you talk about anything abstract, the hoe would just be fucking lost. She just wants to light candles and incense and and find different ways to fuck. This is just, like nothing in her fucking mind. Same way for a nigga. There's nothing there. There's nothing fucking there. Right here is like right here. This is it. Nail hammer. This is it. Drink a bill after work. Not going nowhere. Nowhere. Lame ass nigga. And you can, and just by the way these niggas move, you can tell that these niggas was lame as fuck before fame touched them. Go to the hotel. I don't got time. What the fuck? My hotel? You couldn't have known this whole no longer than. 30 minutes, give me some, know what I'm saying, 24 hours, get this, nothing ass, know what I'm saying, get the fuck out. Huh. Let's do it, like, fuck <laughs> it. We jacked all of this shit. g Herbal, I'm so sorry, I'm not bragging yet, I'm super scared of you still. But anyway, I jacked all of his shit. And it would not be an episode of any show if the fucking TV ain't come on. But look at that shit. Letting the world know. Letting the fucking world know. I robbed him. I took his shit. 
I am the like I am the suspect in a fucking crime. If it was jury, whatever was lost, if he made a police report, hey police, here's the bitch. But nobody will worry about that. They'll worry about if something happened to this whole implicating fucking G Herbo in a fucking crime. What the fuck, man? I hit the dash. I went. We went down the stairs so we wouldn't be on camera in the elevator. We ran to my car. We threw all that shit in. We had their cameras. We had their cameras and everything. Like, um, so. Where did you go? What did you do? I went to my house. Like, I dropped her off and I went Didn't to my house. Did you know that he was obviously going to go to your. He probably knew where Dude, your house was. Dude, anyway. Right? I went home the next they, they were calling me all night and I just put my shit on doing stuff you know went to sleep the next morning he called me and I like he was FaceTiming me he was like yo and he was in the car and he was like yo bitch he was like I know you have my shit and I was like what are you talking about I, I don't know I don't have your shit like her but chill out he was like I'm gonna see you soon I was like no you wait he was like yeah I am I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna see you soon and I was like where are you gonna see me at he was like he flipped the camera he's like come outside he was outside my house. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, we I, was story I already heard this. You but, heard it? Right, from I, who? Oh, actually, no, actually. I've never I, okay, told him. No, I heard it from not him, but somebody who knows him, I think. Yeah. He came to my house. Bitch, he put I the was shit. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. He tried to kill my dog. He yes. didn't try to kill it. He just no. scared you by pointing the gun at the dog. Yeah. Right. Dude, I swear, thank God you're here to validate this. Thank God you're here. <laughs> I was so scared, bro. I've never been that scared before in my life. I was like, holy shit, like, I'm never fucking with rappers again. I'm so scared. I was like, holy shit, my mom, my mom was like, who the fuck? They were banging at my door. They were banging at my window. They came, I had no makeup on. My wig was like a little odd, you know, like, I was just waking up. I had no makeup on. There's a bunch of armed men banging at your door. <laughs> you stole all Jeez, their I'm shit no and you're thinking, I don't have makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> she heard about himself was banging out my door. My mom answered it like a dumbass and they ran up in my shit, got all their stuff back. My mom's on the phone with the police and the police come. The police! The Denver police has his back over my door. That's what I heard too. I heard the cops yeah, took his the side. Cops, oh, the cops had his I back. The cops were like, well, are you still like his shit? I was like, they have guns! Like, what do you mean? Like, go arrest them. They're like, why did you steal his passport? What? How can she be accepted? How is she accepted in our community? Because we don't have no motherfucking unity. Chief Keith, this hoe just admitted to stealing a nigga shit and then telling the police to arrest that nigga when he came to get his shit. And you fucking with this hoe? Y'all niggas lame as fuck, dog. Y'all lame as fuck. And this is with everything that we do. NFL, NBA, rap music, whatever. The, at our jobs. The reason why they're able to fuck us over so well is because they keep us compartmentalized. I cannot believe I said that shit right. To where we're all, just the same way R. Kelly supposedly kept all of his hoes. Don't talk. I keep these people caught. Just the same way they do the prison. Same way they do the jail. L wedge. Uh, 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 K wedge. E wedge. I wedge. These are the wedges I've been to in Metro and shit. But you in 600. You in, six, you in 600. Um, or 600. 605 or 602. Or 400. Whatever like that. Like So 402 is this side. And 400... 402 is this side, 405 is that side. So, over this side, they got like A through A, B, C, D, E, L, G. A through G, and then the rest, you know what I'm saying? The rest of the alphabet on that, like. Uh, all the way to O. So, they'll have seven wedges on this side, seven wedges on this side. They keep everything, you know what I'm saying, it, it, about 20 people in each wedge. They don't just have a big ass full two side where everybody is on this side and everybody on that side. No, they keep you compartmentalized. And this is the same way that we are, but we're doing it by choice. But all, they, they do it for us too, in a way, because west side, north side, you know what I'm saying, the trap rap, and all these different, you know what I'm saying, and, and try to separate us and shit to where we will not unify. To where the same bitch 
can just destroy our shit. Know all our fucking business and take it to help whoever the fuck she reports back to. And you and that's why they make sure that all that they let in, the people that they promote, the people that the machine and the, the people from the golf course, the people that they promote are gonna be lame, um, nothing ass niggas. And just mindless and just can't see past their fucking hand. Because they're not going to put anyone with the mind in those positions because for one, it won't be entertaining. And for two, they'll see the fucking trap. This is why Lupe Fiasco, it doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and Kendrick Lamar, you know, like they'll throw you these little pieces, but you can just tell the way they move is different. It's just different. And also, if you look at how they came up, they look at the way they came up compared to the way Lil Pump came up. Shoot that nigga to the top. Where Kendrick Lamar J. Cole had to actually work their way up. It doesn't work. Today's rap industry does not work without chaos. Period. A label will shoot themselves in the foot if they sign an act that has a mind. It will not be that entertaining. If their rapper gets killed or sent to jail, it's a win. Atlantic artists, Interscope artists, Universal artists, Def Jam, whatever the fuck. I don't give a fuck what he's in the news for as long as they say Universal. As long as it's say Atlantic at the front of it. This is like, because it's, my nigga, you, oh, in any, in any other, in any other world, my nigga, you would have got your ass murdered. You went to this white hole house, and that's, and that's why I have to fuck with Tyreek and she when he say, there is no difference between these fucking white Hispanics, these white fucking uh, uh, Hispanics or these white Mexicans, because they just like um, uh, George um, Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman. He identified as white. Yes, he was a Mexican, but he identified as white. And when he was signing those bags of skills and shit like that, those white supremacists accepted him. They accepted him because even though in any other situation we'll be calling you a, 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 a wet back or a spit, but you, you did our work, so we fuck with you. I do not mean to, to bring up race in all these situations, but my nigga, G Herbo wouldn't have sent this bitch back to his room if she was black. I just got to be for real with you, my nigga. I had a nigga, um, a white nigga hit me up and asked me um, whether or not he can be in AO Nation or the Men Too movement. Um... With him being white, would I accept white members? Dog, I have dog. This, this, what I'm talking about, it really transcends your flesh, what skin you were born in. It's about understanding. Understanding. Do you see the world the same way I see it? Nothing else matters. Chief Keep, any nigga who fuck with this hoe is lame as fuck. And I don't know, I don't know, to me lame means ignorant. To me lame means green. Um, that, and that's everybody's lame. That motherfucker lame to the game. He doesn't understand it. You were just thrown into a pit of mindless motherfuckers and told to survive. And your fight for your life is the world's entertainment. And that's what the rap game is. Um, this, this is appalling, man. The numbers. All, how, and all, every fucking one of them is black. And to hear 
the information that this hole was given is appalling. Tate was listening. Colorado! But they, they, they probably were Yo, not. Yeah. I moved, we packed our shit and we left. We moved out of that fucking house. Fuck yeah. that I didn't shit. Believe it. Like, they, honestly, they ran down in my shit. But you know, <laughs> nobody is going to hear this story and be mad at G Herbo for, pulling, for pointing the gun no, at the no, dog. No, no. <laughs> Everybody out there is going to feel exactly the same way that the cops Yo. felt, which is like, good, good, good. Yo, I'm still with my mom. That was two fucking years ago. I was 20 years old, stupid. <laughs> Wow, bitch, dude. where are you living at, dumb bitch? I'm so like, oh, you never, God. you never ran into Jerry Bar after that? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. No. I wouldn't. But if he beat the dog shit out of you, I wouldn't think twice. I'd be like, hell yeah, you get it, Jerry Bar. You deserve it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. You no, know I did. I did deserve it. I don't feel anything. It's not like being a girl. I love being Selena Powell. So, <laughs> I thought, I, yo, I'll never. From that day on, if you're from, motherfucker, doing a lot of sneak this, and I don't like that shit. I'm, I'm beyond. I don't give a fuck who you talking to. But it's just a lot of sneak dish. I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. Chicago, if you visited Chicago, you you say on Fornim, I'm good. On Fornim. On Fornim. On Fornim. On Fornim. And you niggas better understand. I'm going to end it with this because I don't know how long this shit is. You niggas better fucking understand what I've been telling y'all. A lot of time you letting these motherfuckers in and they making fun of you. They making fucking fun of you. You better start motherfucking listening and paying attention, nigga. On pouring them. Hey, Academics knew about this story. No, I never even told him. Really? Never I knew about him. it and I could not know. I never even told I'm not gonna tell she the man I wanna me. fuck like he like Hold on man, let me make sure this homie ain't sitting in there, man. You should hear y'all. Yeah. The hell? But what is this? I just wanna know like where this desire comes from to just like Basically, like, define yourself as a human being through who you fuck, and then explore nah, and nah, nah, nah. talk shit about online. Stop saying that. But I mean, you're airing out all these dudes who like apparently trusted you enough, like trusted you enough to fuck you or me. be around you or some they, shit. That hoe had enough goddamn uh, sis to tell you goddamn stop saying that's a fucking crime. This hoe ain't retarded, dog.